Are you struggling with feeling stuck in your life journey? Does it seem as if the challenges or conflicts that you keep experiencing are on repeat? Healing through feeling could be your new way through to a more satisfying life. Now, here is the host of the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show, licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. Welcome, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, on the Incredible Inspired Choices Network. And today is February 14th, 2022. It is Valentine's Day. For those who believe in Valentine, I think St. Valentine or Valentine's Day was some sort of a bloody massacre. However, Hallmark has turned this into an incredible day of selling flowers, selling cards, or I should say buying flowers, buying cards, going to restaurants where they charge you way too much money for you to sit and eat and look longingly into whoever you are with. Why is it that we put so much into one day when actually love is with us every single day? And so today's topic was about finding, or I suppose it still is, is about finding love. And as usual, I want to start with a meditation. And the thing about finding love that you will hear me say over and over again for the next 55 minutes is that we always have love. It's always there. It's never actually lost. So that all being said, let's just receive a great big breath and exhale. I do love wearing the color red because it is so grounding. And that's the one that is the one thing that I really do love. That what that red is the color of love is because it is so grounding and because we just all need to be grounded in love. If we are grounded in love and we make all of our decisions from what would love do? Wow. Could you imagine? I'm just going to let everyone sit with that for a moment. So this meditation is to connect you more deeply with others. And in order to do that, we must face the one person that we keep on the shortest leash, ourselves. We often reject other people's care or attention when we believe we don't deserve it. But there's nothing special you must do to deserve love. So as Sharon Salzberg, another Sharon, reminds us, it is simply because you exist. Love is the birthright. And somewhere along the way, we lose sight of that for ourselves. So receiving a breath and allowing your eyes to close and breathing in through your nose to the count of four, holding to the count of four, exhaling to the count of four, and then holding your breath out to the count of four. Let's do that three times. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold out, two, three, four. (sighs) 
so with your eyes still closed, imagine that you are encircled by the people you love or who love you. Sit comfortably and imagine yourself in the center of a cir circle made up of the most loving beings you've met. There may be some people in your circle who you've never met, but you've been inspired by them. Maybe they exist now, or they've existed historically, or even mythically. Bring them into your circle. Receive the love of those who love you. Now experience yourself as a recipient of the energy, attention, care, and regard of all of these beings in your circle of love. This is about you. Receive. Silently repeat whatever phrases are expressive of that which you most wish for yourself, not just for today, but in a continuing, enduring way. Phrases that are big and open. Suggestion. May I be safe be happy, be healthy, live with ease of heart. May I be safe, be happy, be healthy, live with ease of heart. Notice how you feel when you receive love. As you experience yourself in the center of this incredible circle, all kinds of different emotions may arise for you. You may feel gratitude and awe, or you might feel kind of shy like we would rather duck down and have all of these beings send loving kindness to one another and forget all about you. Whatever emotion may arise, just let it wash through you and bring yourself back to the touchstone of your phrase. May I be happy, may I be peaceful, or whatever phrases you have chosen. Open yourself to receiving love. Imagine that your skin is porous, and this warm, loving energy is coming in. Imagine yourself receiving. There's nothing special that you need to do to deserve this kind of acknowledgement or care. It is simply because you exist. Open yourself up to receiving love. There's nothing that you need to do to deserve this kind of acknowledgement or care. It's simply because you exist. Receiving a breath. 
and just anchoring in your very existence is love itself. Now sending love and care to the people in your circle. You can allow that quality of loving kindness and compassion and care you feel coming toward you to flow right back out to the circle. And then toward beings, all beings everywhere. So that what you receive, you now transform into giving. You give the quality of care and kindness that does actually exist in this world. You can become a part of it and it can become a part of you. And part of what you express or return. Sitting in this incredible love soup. Breathing it in. Receiving and giving. Receiving and giving. That is the very breath itself. That is life itself. Love is breath. When you are ready, allowing your eyes to open, and gazing upon the energy, the light, the love that is absolutely you in all of its beautifulness, in all of its glory, in your birthright. So when we come back from break, we're going to dive deeper into finding love. Hmm. As if it was ever lost? I know, it's a big question. Thank you so much for listening to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols. And today's topic is finding love on this wonderful, beautiful February 14th, Valentine's Day, being that this is a complete and total month of love. Hmm. I think every day is actually a day of love. So every month is a month of love. Although I just decided for shits and giggles to call February the month of love. Not the first, nor will I be the last. Be back in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, 
you can broadcast from anywhere in the world, knowing your voice matters, and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, and thank you again. I'm Sharon Nichols, and this is the Feel to Heal show. And today's topic is finding love. How many of you who are tuning in thought that I was going to just give you a magic formula? That this is what you need to do. If you do this, this, and this, you will find love. Hmm. Is there a magic formula? I wish there was. Because that would just make life so easy, wouldn't it? If you just were told what to do. Like we go to school to learn how to, we learn a trade, we learn how to do different things. And why is love so elusive? Why is it that we feel this great need to find it? When here's the thing, we've always had it. It's never been lost. We just think that we need it to complete us. And so I started the series with loving yourself. Finding love is finding the love for yourself, first and foremost. It has to start with you. Legitimately, that's it. In all of my thoughts and in all of my Googling and everything, what just kept coming, it kept coming back to was, it has to start with you. If you can't love yourself or don't love yourself, how can you expect anyone else to? And how can you then show them how to love you? Because yes, there's all different languages. And I totally believe all of that. And that will be probably next week's show. I'm teasing it. Yes, it will be. We will talk about how to keep the love. So first it was fine. First it was loving yourself finding love, how to keep the love. And then the last one is going to be, the last one in the series is going to be, what do you do when you lose love? And I, it's a little foreshadowing. However, I've already said it now. Do you ever actually lose love? Because you are love. You are the common denominator in the equation. You plus you equals love. One plus one equals one. I've been so fortunate to have so many ex incredible experiences so far in my life and still can continuing to look forward to the rest of my life and keep going. And so I was able to swim with the dolphins in the wild in Hawaii. And they are just incredible creatures. You know, they're mammals and they, you know, the belief is that they have a higher intelligence, you know, as close to us. We're not talking about primates, just talking about these creatures in the sea. And I was swimming around in a circle with my you know, my goggles and my uh, snorkel. And they were just all, there was sometimes there was three, there was four, there was five, there was one. And I just was thinking, you know, telepathically, asking them questions about life, the world, <laughs> the sea, the ocean. And, you know, whether you, whether you believe this or not, doesn't matter. It worked for me. I just asked them, I said, 
what is love? And I received back one plus one equals one. And then when I looked down into the water, they actually were all in pairs. And I was blown away by the incredible gift that they that I had just received. Because one plus one equals one. I know mathematically one plus one equals two. And I think that's where we get so thrown. We're taught as children very early on that one plus one equals two. And one plus zero equals one. Except one plus one can also equal one because we are all one. And ultimately, when we, when we stand up and give our vows, it's because one of us is now joining with another one of us to become one. Isn't that like what most wedding invitations say? Said, they said, I will. So now we will become one. Come and, and join and be a part of the celebration as two become one. It's actually one plus one equals one. Because you are yourself. And then you have the other. And then when you combine, you're still one. So going back to the meditation, because it was all about your God-given right as a human to receive love. Here's the kicker. You must be open to receiving love. Receiving and giving and letting go of your belief that you are not worthy, that you do not deserve this because of all of the mistakes that you've made, because of all of the choices that you perceive as not in alignment with who you are. And so because you made one mistake, you are now a horrible human and not worthy or deserving of love. And I'm here to tell you that that's just not true. Just not. I know I did a whole show on forgiveness and I certainly have made mistakes and I've asked for forgiveness. And those who have forgiven me have allowed me to love them. And then I've been able to love them back. It's the giving and the receiving. So it's about forgiving yourself and then knowing that you deserve to be loved. Again, it's your, our God-given right. We came into this world. The first thing we do is take a breath. And breath is love. In, out, the giving the receiving, so the receiving, the giving, the receiving, the giving. And it's so easy for us as women to beat ourselves up and think we don't deserve it. We, that we need to look a certain way, think a certain way, be a certain way in order to have love. You know, I've had over the years, I've had multiple friends comment on a woman and sort of what does she have that I don't have because fill in the blank with some sort of judgment. This isn't about the judging, although we do. We look at someone and we compare ourselves and we think, how did she get that gorgeous guy when she is short, fat, stupid, you know, the all the, the, the negative self-talk that we give to ourselves. And I'm always, I was truly fascinated by that 
because I used to feel that way too. The irony. And so letting go of the supposed to's, letting go of the I have to be a certain way before I can. Allow, have, be. It's, it's, it's just crazy making. So then I started thinking about men and how they look at it. And for the longest time, I was deluded into thinking that, that, oh, they had it all figured out. That, you know, there are just three things that they need. And it's all so easy for them, right? No. They have the same, same thoughts and feelings as we do, just not bathed in estrogen, bathed in testosterone. So maybe it's a little bit easier for them to switch. Although they're just as much caught up in their appearance and how they're showing up. And contrary to popular belief, they're not always only, and yes, always only looking for sex. Yes, they want it, except so do we. And we have fought long and hard to for it to be okay to lead with that. And that's what we want. Again, I know I'm getting, I'm going, off course. And so I'm going to bring it back around because I've had so many thoughts and feelings about this. And because I finally, for myself, am in an incredible loving relationship. And I can now look back and see all the things that I needed to do for myself to get myself here. And then the things that he needed to do for himself. And first and foremost, I had to truly believe that I was worthy and deserving of love. And that I truly then had to accept myself for who I was, the way that, for who I am, the way that I am before I could expect anyone to do the same. And that's why my relationship works. At the end of the day, we accept each other for who we are the way that we are. Is it perfect? God knows. No. Do we have ups and downs? Absolutely. Because you know what? We have good days and bad days. And we communicate because that's also key too. Although I allow, so I receive and give and he receives and gives. And a lot of the time we are in alignment and then there are times when we aren't. And it's in those moments that I do my best not to take it personally. And then if it is truly about me, then I take responsibility and apologize and forgive, and then let go and move on. Because at the end of the day, it is my God-given right to love, to be love, to experience love, all of it, L-O-V-E, love. So thank you so far for listening to my rants and... um, You're listening to the Field to Heal show with Sharon Nichols on the Inspired Choices Network. And when we come back from break, we're going to talk more about love and grounding and I'm just so happy. I really have so enjoyed being with this topic and so excited that I still get another two more weeks. See you back in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, 
You'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back. Thank you so much for listening to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols on the Inspired Choices Network. And today's topic is love. And I have so many songs going through my head because love is everywhere. And I've really been thinking a lot about the rom-coms. And I'm going to probably talk more about that next week because the rom-com is about the whole setup. You know, you have the cute meat and then you have some sort of issue that you have to work through. And then it's the live happily ever after. Except what does that actually mean? So let's go back to finding, because love actually is not a fair thing. I mean, yes, we have this romance, we have the romance stage, which usually only lasts about two months, although we spend then the rest of the relationship trying to get back to that, because usually after two months, the, oh gosh, what's the word? The It's not the... Um, we, we sort of let our defenses down because everybody puts their best foot forward always. Although pay attention because people are telling you exactly who you, who they are first time you meet them. And it's funny, I was thinking about red flags and not, not a red flag doesn't necessarily mean, mean or need to be necessarily something that's bad. It's the red flag is, is this something that I can accept in this other person? Unless, of course, don't get me wrong. If there's, if there, if it's immoral or, you know, or abusive in any way, I'm just, I'm not even, I don't want to even address that because that's not what I'm referring to. I'm just referring to, you know, someone who doesn't put the toothpaste cap back on which is why they invented the pump. Anyway, that aside, because we all have our own ways of doing things. We all have things that are irrational and also things that are ira- that are rational. And it's then about finding the balance. So <sighs> finding love. I, I, I suppose I had my ideals in my 20s thinking that, that, oh, I will find the perfect man. He will, we will meet, we will fall in love, we will have children, and we will grow old together. Because that was always the story that I was told. That's the fairy tale that we were all sold. And like I said, going back to the happily ever after, finding love is really really quite easy. First, you have to allow, be open to receive, and then it's the keeping, which I'll get into next week. 
The only way though that you're going to be able to find it is if you love yourself first. Like I said, in my 20s, I had this ideal of how things were going to be. And because I did not love myself, I chose someone and I, I gave him my power and not, I gave him my power. I gave all my power away. That's not what I'm referring to because I didn't love myself. It's not even enough because I didn't love myself in the way that I love myself now because I didn't accept because I didn't think I was worthy. I chose someone who I thought knew better than me. Doesn't matter whether he did or he didn't. It's not even about him. This isn't about me taking responsibility. And so, you know, I'm often, I often think about what would Sharon today say to Sharon of 25. And I'm, and, and I probably wouldn't necessarily do anything different. I'm so grateful for all the experiences that I did have because it was hard won in a good way. I now can sit here so comfortably and confidently within myself in my relationships with regards to love. I still don't know what I don't know. And I'm still continuing to anchor in. I do know what I do know. I still have moments, I'm still human, although I truly do believe that it is my God-given right to receive love. Even on my worst day, even on my ugliest day, even if I don't have anything to give, I still have a God-given right to receive. So please, please stop beating yourself up and take back your own power, your belief. So now, my current boyfriend, because of course that's the joke, he, he does have power. I do give him power, although it's equal. It's shared. It's not, it's balanced. It's not hierarchical. We communicate, it's clear. And I am so truly grateful that I did all that work, that I did, that I am the sum of all of my experiences. So I can show up as I do now. That's why I'm not sitting here and crying over the loss of love. And believe me, had it been there, my heart's been broken and my heart's been complete. And each day is its own day. Each moment is its own moment. And once I finally got that the only way that I could have love in my life was if I was actually willing to receive it. <sighs> Collecting my thoughts. So in my Google research, I use Google to just sort of help me put myself in some sort of alignment as to where to go so I can succinctly, because I can go off, as you know, on all different tributaries and tangents. So I'm going to bring this back around and let's talk a little bit about what you can do for yourself. to find the real love that you're looking for. So many people have ideas about that. 
I too have many. I've taken so many, I've done so many workshops. I've read multiple books. I've had multiple conversations trying to figure out how best to show up. So first and foremost, be authentic. Because those who truly do know can see right through it. You must be true to yourself. I know I'm going to sound like a broken record. <laughs> be real. Don't settle because you think that's what you deserve. Be truly truthful and honest. You know, I, as a marriage and family therapist, when I was going through my divorce, I did not see any couples. I couldn't. It wouldn't have been fair to them because in that moment, I could not see the forest through the trees. Although today, I love working with couples. I love sitting down with, with each one and allowing them to be their authentic selves and then me giving them the languaging or the opportunity to be able to communicate their thoughts and feelings to the other and then tempering their reactions so they can then receive from the other. So it's not about taking everything personally. It's truly about knowing what makes you really happy. What do you really, really want? Because it's so easy to get caught up in what others are saying that they want. Because we so believe that if we just give and give, then then we'll be able to receive. So just the giving should be enough. Although it can be very depleting and emptying and empty. Because yes, I used to give with the expectation that, oh, the more I give, the more I'll get. Hmm, it's actually not really true. If you do it with the expectation. If you take out the expectation, then yes, because that is the law of the universe. Where you place your attention is what gets amplified. So if you are constantly putting out the love without any expectation, of getting any back, there will be plenty to receive. Be your best, do your best. Understand that opposites do attract of course, because we are attracted to something that we see in someone that we wish we had. Although at the end of the day, attracting, you know, being with someone who has more things in common rather than the opposite will make a, make a easier for a much longer sustaining relationship because the opposite part usually then ends up causing friction, although I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll discuss this more next week. You want to get yourself to as healthy of a place as you possibly can for you so you can receive. So when we come back from break, we're going to talk more about what you can do. And then I even have some specifics because some were, I have some specific things that I will su suggest and put out there to you for you to do. So you can find the love that you want and it needs to start from you. So we'll be back in a moment. This is the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, and you're listening to the Inspired Choices Network. Be right back. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. 
you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back and thank you for listening to myself, Sharon Nichols on the Feel to Heal show on the Inspired Choices Network. And today's topic has been about love and finding love. And the only way that you're going to find love is if you find yourself in love, loving you, love yourself. You must find the love that you have for yourself. Or let's stop talking about find, actually. Let's just know that you are love. Show up as love. And everything else will then follow. So you must be open. So if you desire to meet somebody new, then you must be open and willing to connect. And so one of the things that I did read that I thought was really, really funny in terms of finding love, look up from your phone. Connect. We spend so much time looking down that you actually might miss. And I know it sounds sort of cliche, although it's actually really not. Put your phone down. Look around. It's okay. You won't miss something on your phone. (sighs) Also, go where people like to go that they have the same thoughts and feelings. And yes, I'm saying thoughts and feelings and ideas about the world and life. And there are so many things that you can be doing even online. And of course, there's the dating websites. I'm not here to tell you what to do and how to participate with that. Although I will say you want to look for someone who will ask you questions about yourself and not just spend all of their time talking about themselves or have such a rehearsed story, life story, that there is no opening for you because they are just so polished and because they don't get it yet that in order to have the love that they're seeking, they need to be able to receive. So start listening for that. Start listening to yourself and how you speak about yourself. Stop with the self-deprecating negative talk. Not going to work. And here's one of the Biggest things, happy people attract happy people. Loving yourself, you will attract someone who loves themselves. Even if it might not look that way, or even if they need to connect with you and have multiple conversations for them to see where they are, to hear, really. Although that's where the Attract, attracts like, but that's where the like attracts like. Because you want someone who is going to continue to work and grow on themselves, with you, for themselves.
So here's another big thing. You must truly believe that it will happen for you, not to you, for you. You are the co-creator of your life. So you need to believe and hold and anchor in that love is always there for you to have, for you to be with, because you deserve it, just like the person sitting next to you does. The person in the car next to you, the person in the, in the room next to you, the apartment, the, all of it. It is your God-given right. It is their God-given right. Love will always be the answer. <sighs> I feel like a broken record, and I apologize for that. You must love yourself and... I'm so looking forward to next week's show when we're going to be talking about what to do with love once you've found it. You know, I have the, the song in my head, now that we found love, what do we do with it? And that's going to be the theme of next week's show. However, I can't seem to get it out of my head because I have found love. And the only way that I was able to find love was by truly believing that I was worthy of it, that I was worthy of love. And I wish that for all of you, for those who have it, for those who want it, for those who are experiencing it, that this is what you anchor for yourself continually. Even for those moments when you don't think you deserve it. And boy, they still happen. I'm still human. I still question. And then I go back to, I deserve this. I've done all the work. I'm the sum of all of my experiences. I have forgiven myself. I've asked for forgiveness. I've allowed I've made mistakes. I've learned from my mistakes. And I'm just love. <sighs> Please reach out to me. You can find me, feeltoheal.com. I would love feedback. Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. I would love to hear about your stories of love. I would love to be able to weave you in to what I'm talking about. So it's not only about me. Because, <laughs> yes, I know I'm full of myself and I'm full of love. And thank you so much. I'm so in love with love today. I love, I love that we at least address love one day a year because it is so important although each day could if you choose it could be valentine's day it could be love yourself day because actually really that's what valentine's day is love yourself day for those of you who are watching i have this incredible glass heart I bought for myself in Malta and I love you take care thank you Bye. for choosing to listen to the feel to heal with Sharon Nichols show Sharon Nichols will return next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 5 p.m. Central 4 p.m. Mountain and 3 p.m. Pacific on inspiredchoicesnetwork.com we hope you'll join us until then, give up the struggle, feel all you need to feel, and make this week your best one yet.